Okay, this is Chris again with another video trail tour. This time we're at the Meshik Browning Trail System at the Deep Creek Lake Lions Club Park on Bumblebee Road. Uh, so here you see the entrance to the park right off of Bumblebee Road. We got, the, you know, this is this trail system and park's kind of near and dear to my heart. This is my Lions Club that I belong to. So we've done a lot of great stuff at this park. You can see down there we got a ball field, the county's first dog park, a nice picnic pavilion, bathrooms, kind of right beyond the dog park, right around there. We've got a, a exhibit of art that uh, was made by the participants in our blind skier, blind camper programs. We've got all of the donated boats that we sell every June at our auction that raises money to support all the the great stuff that our Lions Club does. And the object of our video tour here is the Meshik Browning Trail System. This is uh, a trail system that's on some other county owned property. And it's themed around the life and times of Meshik Browning, who was one of the earlier settlers of Garrett County. Trail system's about uh, six, miles total of, of trails we'll probably end up doing a one of the, the loops that kind of goes along most of the perimeter of the trail system and uh, if you're following along at home on your ultimate Garrett County adventure map the Meshik Browning trail system is system number 18 there and uh, you can find the information about that on the map, online, and by watching this video. Lots of great stuff here at our park on the trail system. All these cool outdoor art exhibits uh, around Meshik Browning, all the cool Lions Club stuff, and a uh, pretty nice trail, if I do say so myself. So let's get started. So I like to trail run this trail since I know it pretty well. So if I'm especially out of breath, that's why. And uh, one of the great things, you know, again, if I do say so myself, I like about this trail is how well it's marked. We've got uh, signs at every trail intersection. So started here, came down to here. I'm probably gonna generally do this loop all the way around there. The other thing I really like about the trail system is how you know, see a lot of different uh, terrain and coverage type so we've got kind of a hardwood type forest here uh, this particular piece of property it's all owned by the county this one had a, a previous owner who had a couple of hunting blinds so there's kind of some interesting stuff there's a lot of uh, trees that have those big uh, burls on them so those are interesting and there's a lot of wildlife in here uh, especially deer but uh, a lot of a lot of falcons birds of prey that kind of thing because um, it's kind of a bit of a refuge with all of the other developments going on around it so this is the first area of the trails uh, like I said kind of wooded area and we'll start getting into some of the other ones as we continue on this is a little favorite spot of mine we're on the purple trail and you can see you know the Coverage has changed a lot. We're kind of in the midst of a pretty heavy floral thicket. But uh, if you look real closely at this particular tree, you see a lot of the bear claw scrapes where they're kind of sharpening their claws up. So I don't know, I guess this is just a convenient spot for them to sharpen them up. But we're approaching uh, Meshik Run, which is a named stream that we got named. and. Uh, We'll probably click back on that. Okay, just crossed over Meshik Run. It's uh, maybe a little higher than, you know, a little stronger than normal. Had some rains, but this is typically the, the level of water you're going to see at this. I think the, the trail system crosses this about three times um, overall. So we are here on the Purple Trail. And I'm going to keep continuing on around that way. Um, 
But uh, yeah, you can see kind of the difference in from where we started, you know, and even just looking up there, may not be the best time to do these type of recordings because there's nothing is uh, blooming yet. But in a way it's good because then you can kind of see the trail real clearly and kind of what the other uh, type of foliage is, the other uh, flora is. So you can see once you get out of this kind of damper area, the mountain laurels trail off and you get more into just a regular forest coverage. And you can see that's gonna be happening soon. We got a lot of little fiddleheads. So this whole area gets covered pretty heavily with ferns. So we're in the midst of what I call the pine plantation area of the trails. And uh, you can kind of see we're up in the northwest corner up here. This kind of this whole area is this, uh, you know, heavy pines. Um, they're fairly planted in rows, so it's kind of a, almost like a plantation. So, like I said, a lot of different coverage in this area, but generally this is all pretty flat in here. We'll be coming back around and about halfway done, I guess. This is just uh, right off the trail here. It's a little tree that I've just always noted of uh, being kind of cool and spooky. You know, it's in this area of all pines and then just kind of in the middle here, I'm pretty sure that's a, an oak, just uh, kind of like tentacles pushing out from the ground. It's uh, yeah, definitely something out of like uh, Stranger Things or something like that, but uh, especially when it's snowy and you're cross country skiing out here, it's especially striking, but you can kind of see it's got the green moss on it. And it's just like this old, old dude in the middle of all these young pine trees. Okay, down there is our second crossing of Meshik Run. Uh, we're, it looks like our nail fell out, but we're right there. Just done this whole section, crossed over Meshik Run there, and we're right around here. So we'll just knock it out with the rest of the trail there. But you can see we're kind of getting back. I mean, there's some pine up here. We're gonna get back into a mix of hardwood and pine and uh keep uh keep on keeping on okay we are back at the trailhead ye old e activity tractor said did about 4.2 miles on that loop there's definitely some shorter loops you can make shorten that up or you can kind of double up and uh i think a little over six miles overall to uh, you know, with all if you hit all the trails and make kind of a, a figure eight type loop. So just as I'm talking, I'm checking out our all of our Meshik Browning public art. But uh, overall, trail is I think one of the best marked in the county. Um, it may not have any big spectacular views, but uh, I think it's just a real pleasant nature walk, a couple of little stream crossings, and uh, just a general nice way to get outside, enjoy nature, can't beat the location. Right here in Hardin McHenry, you can kind of see through the trees, there's the wisp over there. So we're right in the middle of everything. And uh, lots of great local history to check out here and uh all of our art this is a bunch of community painted 3d panels it's been part of the art project so come on out check out the uh the trail system here and uh i'll see you out on the trails